Hey guys and welcome. This is finally going to be another straight razor shave. So life has been a bit crazy for me recently between moving, starting a new job. It's just been very, very busy and I haven't been able to take the extra time that shaving with a straight razor requires. And I'm very sad about that because I really want to work on this skill and get better at it because this is absolutely a skill. As opposed to using a safety razor, you can kind of go for it. You can dial it in in a few shaves. They say that shaving with a straight razor can take upwards of 100 shaves to be completely proficient in. And I have about 10 shaves under my belt, something like that. Um, so I want to make a recommitted effort to working on this skill set and getting in regular straight razor shaves so I can be better at it because I really enjoy using a straight razor and I think it's just really awesome. Straight razors are just really sweet. It's kind of like bare bone shaving, like back to like the core of shaving. People have been shaving with straight blades like this for literally thousands of years. I know ancient Egyptians used to use straight razors like this. I was at a museum recently in London in like May and I saw an ancient Egyptian razor that is basically just like a piece of metal that was like sharpened on one side and that's what they'd use to like shave their heads and bodies because in ancient Egyptian culture hair was like, I don't know, they just preferred not to have hair. Anyway, off topic here. But anyway, straight razors are awesome and I really want to be better at using it so this is going to be first video and hopefully a big series of videos coming up where I'm working on my straight razor skills. Like I said, it's about my 10th straight razor shave, something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I've done some like partial shaves, whatever. But so this is gonna be another full straight razor shave. And today I'm gonna to be using this new straight razor for me. It's the Dovo Inox, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a 5/8 inch full hollow ground stainless steel blade made by Dovo in Solingen, Germany. Dovo is actually the same company as Mercor, so that's pretty cool. I really like Mercor products and Dovo also makes very, very high quality straight razors. And this is uh, olive wood scales. Very beautiful. I like the natural stuff like that. I think it's just very, very pretty. All right. Beautiful razor, stainless steel blade. You can, you can get straight razors and basically they come in like carbon steel or stainless steel. I'll go into that in another episode. This is a stainless steel blade. All right. So I have about five days of growth right now, it's approximately five, and I just got a shower, so my facial hair is nice, hydrated, ready to go. And I'm going to be starting off today with the uh, Razor Rock How to Grow a Mustache Pre-Shave Soap. So when you're using a straight razor, you want to use the slickest stuff possible. And I think that this pre-shave soap adds to slicknesses of soaps, so I'm going to be using this today. So I just wet it my face, and you just apply it here against the grain. You don't need much. Just go over your face once. I've definitely applied too much of this in the past. It kind of makes it a little bit harder to lather. There you go. That's all it takes. It lays down a nice foundation of soap on your face. I think it makes it easier to build the lather uh, when you put the soap on your face. So I'm going to be using today my Simpsons Chubby 2 Best Badger Brush. Absolutely beautiful brush. And I want to use it more, so I decided I'm going to use it today. It's been soaking here in a mug while I was in the shower, and I'm going to be using the Razor Rock Triple X Shaving Soap. Great soap, super slick, great properties, so you know, you need the best quality stuff when you're using a straight razor, so that's what I'm using today. Plenty of soap loaded up, very easy to use, and a little bit more moisture, a little bit more still. I'm going to go into a face lather. People often ask me what's my favorite shaving brush and it's really hard to tell just because there's just such a different class uh, between badger and boar hair brushes. This, this is a badger hair brush and it's absolutely incredible but this runs for about 170 bucks and that's just it's a lot of money to spend on a shaving brush. That being said this is just a very nice product to use. Lots of backbone, incredibly soft. It's a, uh, it's a very, very nice shaving brush. Uh, but then you have boar hair brushes. You know, you can get a premium boar hair brush for like 15, 20 bucks. And those are equally amazing to use. So they're just different things. You gotta find out what works best for you, what you like using, and uh, go with that. But I really do enjoy this brush. I think it's just absolutely uh, incredible product. Handmade in Britain. And it's really, really beautiful. Alright, I have my lather built. I'm ready for my first pass. 
and I haven't used a straight razor in a couple months. I think it's been since April and it's August now, so it's been a little while. So I am a little bit uh, a little bit apprehensive about my straight razor skills at this point, but let's give it a try. So a straight razor, hold it like this, lock it in, and if you're whatever side of your face you're shaving, that's what hand you hold it in. So I'm starting my right hand, uh, my right hand side of my face. I'm using my right hand, and you pull your skin tight. Good angle, very light pressure, and get going. And I've got some, uh, got an Allen block right here. Just gonna kind of rub my fingers on. It helps you get good grip on your skin. So for me to get underneath my jawline, because this is kind of almost uh, horizontally oriented under here. I really reach around here, pull up the skin so I can shave it here and it's vertically oriented. All right. Very happy with that. This half of my face is done, so I'm going to switch here to my left side. Use my left hand. Dipping these fingers again in alum so I can lift up here, like on the other side. So this razor is really, really nice. Uh, I got it from the Superior Shave, and it came shave ready. They uh, they hone it too from the factory, and it's really nice. My other straight razor that I got from Whip Dog has a point on it, and this one has a rounded point. The point on the other razor, I find I was just jabbing myself with it a lot, and I was really scared of the point on this razor. And with the rounded end on this, I feel like this is just a little bit easier to use. All right, really good. This is going really, really nicely. This is the most enjoyable straight razor shave I've had to date, for sure. So, I'm still going slowly, because uh, I'm still learning this all. So I'm gonna reapply the lather here in my neck, just kind of re-wet it, get nice, ready to go. Really good. Very, very happy with that. So this is going nicely. Uh, you know, it's a very comfortable shave, honestly. It's feeling great. Let's so get going over here. Alright, so that's my first pass. It is incredibly close. Wow. This is the best straight razor shave I have ever had to date. I mean, 10 minutes, not many, but it's going so well. I don't feel any irritation. Um, it's very close. So I'm going to do a second pass. I'm just going to go with the grain again, clean up. I didn't do so good right here. You guys can probably see that. This area is kind of hard to get. So I'm going to sort of re-lather re and do another pass with the grain. Alright, so second pass here, I'm just going to go in the same order, the same order that I use like when I shave with a uh, safety razor, I go here, 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 and here. Get going. All right, wow, 
I am really, really happy with uh, with this shave. Uh, this razor is is incredible. It's really making a much more enjoyable experience. My razor before just uh, this wasn't completely tuned up. Uh, anyway, this is uh, this razor makes a really big difference. So I'm gonna go ahead here and just clean up a few areas of my face. Determining if I need to go back down to my neck anymore. Yeah, a little bit. This side's done. Yeah, need to get a little bit more. Alright, a little bit of a clean up here. Alright, there we go. I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. I'm really happy with where this shave's at. It's not perfect, but if I keep going, i got a few little nicks, and if I, you know, if I keep going, I'm definitely going to irritate my skin, because uh, straight razors are intense. So I'm going to go ahead and get cleaned up here for some final remarks. Alright. Wow. I am so happy with this. This is the best straight razor shave I've had by far. Not only is it like the best in terms of closeness, but in terms of irritation too. I have very little irritation. I nicked myself a little bit down here and a little bit up here, but really nothing at all. And this is a very close shave, very comfortable. This is just really great. I think that my uh, first straight razor that I had, I think it may have been affecting my experience a little bit. I still think that thing was perfectly tuned in. It was an old razor, 130 years old, which is really cool, but I've sent that off to, uh, to someone, he's kind of like my straight razor tutor, Robert. So thank you, Robert, for all of your help and advice and everything. But he is taking that razor right now. He's a uh, he's a honing expert, and he's bringing that thing up to speed right now. And he's uh, he said it wasn't in tip top shape. Anyway, this razor has been incredible. This thing immediately. This is just such a big difference from where I was at before. Every uh, every shave, I was kind of like I felt like I was like fighting with the razor a little bit just to get it perfect and tuned in and like just getting it comfortable finding the exact angle finding the exact way to go on my face and this razor is a lot more forgiving and I have a lot closer just much more comfortable shave anyway this is awesome this is just the perfect way to come back into my uh, to my you know re-entry into the world of straight razor shaving it's exactly what I want a good comfortable shave and you know now I'm just a lot more confident going forward, knowing that I have this razor that you know my skill set has not completely deteriorated to uh, you know to just absolutely nothing in the time that I haven't uh, been using it. But this is great. I'm so happy with this. So for my aftershave today, I am going to be using. Um, I just want something very light and refreshing to kind of clean up my skin here. I'm going to use the uh, Thayer's Original Witch Hazel. This is the alcohol-free toner. It's a very, very nice product. It's very light, just helps clean skin, acts as an astringent. I find it to be very, very uh, conditioning to my skin. This is what I want, just something easy to put on. I think putting on alcohol right now would be a bit of a, a, bit of a stretch for me. It might be a bit painful, not what my skin needs. Um, anyway, there we go. So that was approximately my 10th razor, straight razor shave, something like that. That was a really great experience. I'm so happy with that shave and how it went. Uh, this is just really great. I'm just so much more confident now going forward. I can jump in with my straight razor. I know I can get a good shave and a comfortable shave with it. Anyway, let me know if you use a straight razor. I don't know how many of you guys out there use safety razors or straight razors. I know that my channel is mostly with uh, safety razor shaving, but I know that there's a bunch of you out there who do use straight razors or are interested in using straight razors. Let me know below if you use something. Uh, I'm being a lot better now with uh, catching up with my comments. Uh, YouTube came up with a new app where I can do it on my phone, so I've been a lot better at uh, getting back to people. So please let me know below, and I will uh, I'll get back to you. And as always, thank you for watching, and lots of videos to come.